what's going on, man? What's up? I'm uh, going to talk about a few bats. going to talk about, you know, a few picks and going to get out of here. All right. So let's just, you know, keep it moving. Um, right off the back, we got um, Arizona Diamondbacks at um, New York Mets here. Um, we got an over under eight here. Um, Bats has pitched, you know, very well. Uh, you know, they, they, they obviously had some uh, control issues here. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got New York Mets, they big favorites in this one, and rightfully so. Uh, Bats have pitched very well. Like I said, eight strikeouts, and you know what I'm saying? He ain't give up no earned runs or nothing like that. You know, I'm leaning towards uh, New York Mets in this one here. Um, you know, it's juiced up. They big favorites. That's a parlay, pick, parlay piece right there for the money line. But, you know, I'll sprinkle some on the run line here. Uh, bats. You know what? Bats, 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 bats. Um, I mean, you got – I got a couple bats that stood out like uh, Peralta and Walter. Well, Peralta, he's three for eight with a bomb against bat, uh, Bassett. And then you got uh, Christian Waller. Which he's, he's, he's three for six with a bomb against Bassett. And then um, – on the uh on the on the Mets side of things, uh got a few guys. I mean, you know, uh Brandon Nemo, uh he's uh three for six. You know, not a big sample size for any of these Mets bats, but you know, he's three for six with three extra base hits, okay? Uh McCann, he's two for three, and uh, you know, Davis, he's two for two, J D Davis, he's two for two, and uh I mean not a big time uh, sample size from none of these guys. I mean, uh Francisco Lindor Lindor is one for two. You know what I'm saying? A couple guys that I did put in the player pool, those were the, them though, you know. So it is in my DFS player pool, but it is what it is. Um keeping it moving to uh Minnesota at Twins at Boston Red Sox here. Um, um we got uh, uh uh Ryan on the mound and Pavetta on the mound here, all right. Um I mean, you know, uh Ryan he pitched okay in his first start start. Gave up a few walks, probably three or four, but you know it is what it is with that situation there. So uh that's something to look out there. And then um 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 you know Pavetta, he gave up four home runs and and, and a couple 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 home runs in this first start. So, you know, uh I'm not quick to, you know, I Minnesota is one of the teams that I really like this year for uh I just wanted to jump on them, man. You know, so I'm really too much undecided in this one. Uh, I don't know if this, I mean, we got over under 10 in this one. So sparks can fly, you know, so uh don't know if I want to get to the over. Maybe um, it, the over probably is the good thing, the, the best thing to go to here. Probably is. I do have a slight lean towards Minnesota in this one, but I'm going to just temper my expectations. Uh, bats, though, bats are, look like bats are in play here. And, uh, you know, you got uh, Polanco, okay? So, uh, on the Minnesota side, Polanco, he's four for five. Uh, um, four for five with two home runs and, you know, three extra base hits, man. So, you know, uh, Max Kepler, he's uh, three for six. These guys, they've been chipping away at him. You know, not not too many at-bats, but, you know what I'm saying? Max Kepler, like I said, he's got uh, – he's, he's, he's three for uh, six with a bomb. Um, Gary Sanchez, he's two for four with a bomb. And then you got uh, – Gio Ursula, he's two for three, and then you got uh, Miguel Sano, he's one for two with a bomb against him, and definitely he's a, a bomb candidate. And then you know um, Carlos Correa, he's um, he's uh, one for three versus uh, Pavetta. And then you on the other side, uh, Boston side of things, you got um, not too many. You know what I'm saying? Not too many bats that I had. I didn't actually didn't put anybody in my player pool from the Boston side of things here, all right? But I have to go back and reiterate that, you know what I'm saying, in a few minutes. But let's keep it moving. Um, Washington Nationals at Pittsburgh here, all right? We got Freddie on, 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 on the mound. Fred, Freddie, however you want to uh, explain it or say it. And then you got um, Keller on the mound, all right? Um, you know, he, you know, Fred, you know, he, you know, he, he pitched pretty well in his first start. I know he had um, five Ks and I think five or six innings, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, on the other side, uh, Keller, he gave up, um, you know, six hits and a couple home runs. One or two, I have to go back to uh, – uh, I have to go back to uh, check. But right here, I'm just going to roll with the trend. Uh, you know, not looking for Keller to have a good game here. Uh, looking for Washington here. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, 
Speaking of Washington, I mean, there wasn't nobody that I had even really uh, added to my prayer pool. I was going to add uh, Cesar Hernandez. I seen he was two for five. But, uh, yeah, I mean, just something I just got to figure out. On the other side of the ball, um, Pittsburgh, <clears throat> you know, nothing really really stood out to me over there either. You know what I'm saying? A couple bats, but nothing to write home about, you know, uh, uh uh, ben Gamel, he has a, a bomb against him, you know, but nothing, nothing, nothing really stood out to me. So Gamel's got a bomb against uh, uh, Fred, you know what I'm saying? But I slightly lean towards Washington in this one. Um, not, 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 not happy about it. I'll tell you that, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, not, not, not happy about it. You know, the money line, you know, it is what it is, though. Don't forget about your line totals and stuff like that. Because even if you want to say, hmm, you know, so you could probably still go back here and go to a plus one and a half for Washington, too. You know what I'm saying? But the, I'm struggling with the totals or whatever the case may be. So, uh, you know, uh, let me see. Plus one and a half, under 11 and a half. Let me see. Washington, plus one and a half. Under eleven and a half, you get that at minus one ten, something like that. But I, I, I can't go out there and give you guys. You know, I, I'm undecided on this one. Slight lean towards Washington. Uh, Philadelphia Phillies at uh, Miami. Okay, so uh, yeah, um, this one here, I'm really, really iffy on this one here. We got seven and a half over under in this one. Miami Marlins are the favorite. Okay, we got uh, Eflin and Lopez on the mound. Um, you know, Eflin, you know, last game out, he played four, in, he pitched four innings. I'm kind of iffy on him. Uh, Lopez, on the other hand, you know, you know, he pitched five innings. He had about five or six Ks. You know what I'm saying? He pitched pretty good. He had a, he had a, he had a decent K ball on him last year. So, you know, I give the pitching advantage towards Miami in this one. The only thing about Miami, they, they have to try to, uh, they have to try to, uh, you know, um, you know, they have to get the wake the bats up, man, and try to uh get the you know, manufacture some runs, man. Uh I wanna lean towards Miami in this one. I don't know, man. Maybe an under. Um don't probably don't mind trying to look at a strikeout prop or something. You know what I'm saying? But that's where I'm at with that game as a total there. I mean in hold there. Uh Philly bats, I mean, uh we got some bats though, man, because I was I added Bryce Harper. You know, he's got um he's eleven, he's five for eleven against him, you know what I'm saying, with four extra base hits. All right. Reese Hoskins got two home runs against him. He's four for nine. Kyle Schwarber is three for six, batting fifty percent. And he's got a uh he's batting five hundred with a bomb. And then you got uh Segura and uh Segura, yeah, you got Segura. He's two for six, all right. So uh some of the usual suspects right there, you know what I'm saying? They really, really, you know, they, they, they doing pretty good against him, you know. So, uh, that's when you could look at something <clears throat> like that. And then on the other hand, on, on the other side, it was only like, you know, well, you know, I guess. Let's, you, you got you got Rojas. He's 11 for 32 with six extra base hits against Eflin. And um, uh, Anderson, he's uh, 7 for 19 with uh, two extra base hits and two bombs. And and Ro Rojas has a bomb as well, but you know, and then you know you got Jesus Aguilar. He's um uh, six for thirteen with two extra base hits. So you know, it, it, huh, I, I don't know who's gonna. I'm, I'm after reading off the bats. I might it might be a stairway. It might just I might I might just uh, try to string up some bats together in the same game parlay. You know what I'm saying? So that's something I'll probably have to look at there. Uh, New York Yankees at um, Baltimore. All right, so right off the back, I'm going to let you know I'm rolling with the Yankees in this one. They're big favorites. Uh, over under nine in this one. I didn't really look at too much. I ain't even going to lie. I ain't even look at too much. I just, you know, I looked at, you know, uh, Baltimore. They, you know, they sneak a few wins in there uh, against New York. I mean, you know, they play all these games. Of course, they're going to win something, you know, but I'm still looking at New York in this one here. All right, so... um. Oakland Athletics at Toronto Blue Jays here. And, um, man, it looks like Oakland is just, you know, they just, they going out there and just, man, they disappoint. They, 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 dis they got up. They took Tampa Bay out, man. They really, you know, they really surprised me in that series. But, on nevertheless, uh, they scoring. Um, Toronto, you know, they scoring and can score. 
Uh, we got nine and a half over under in this one. Um, we got Jeffries and Strumpton on the mound. I didn't really look too much into that. Um, I could probably look at the over in this one. I don't know. You know, uh, we, uh, both of these teams, you know, have been scoring. I got a slight lean towards the over in this one. All right? I got a slight lean towards the over in this one. Maybe something like, yeah, I got a slight lean towards the over in this. I can't pick a, I can't pick a, can't pick a side, you know. So, uh, Tampa Bay uh, at Chicago White Sox. We got Rasmussen on the mound and Cease on the mound, okay? Uh, did I have anything for this one? I believe I did. I don't know. But we got over under eight in this one, okay? Um, Chicago White Sox, the favorites here. Um, Cease, you know, he pitched really good. He had eight Ks and five innings. Uh, you know, um, Rasmussen, you know what I'm saying? He, 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 he didn't pitch. I mean, you know, we, he, you know, he, he 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 um he pitched um four innings. He gave up two home runs, man. I forgot who they played. I think it was ba yeah Baltimore. He gave up a few home runs. So pitcher edge is definitely gonna go Chicago with this one. Um, Chicago's at home. That's another edge right there. I'm gonna have to roll with Chicago. I believe. Um, you know. I don't know. I have to roll with Chicago, man. You know, if you feel a little iffy about some of these games and stuff like that, especially when they got an ace on their mind, you can look at their first five. You know what I'm saying? You can look at their first five. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. You know, so when you got a good picture up there, you know what I'm saying? That's something that you can look towards, all right? San Francisco at us, uh, uh, um, 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 Cleveland Capitals, I mean, Cleveland Guardians, man. We got an over under eight in this one. Then, you know, uh, San Francisco is the favorite, all right? So, uh, this is another game that I don't have too much for in this one. I ain't even going to lie. Uh, I didn't even write anything up for this one. Sure the fuck didn't. Some uh, some games I write something for. Some games I don't. Uh, I'm just iffy, man. It might be an under type of game here. Uh, it's got the under feel. Maybe a, a no, nerfy. I probably have to roll with a nerfy in this one. No runs first inning. But, you know, other than that, this game is not on my radar. Los Angeles uh, Angels at Texas Rangers here. But you know what? Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back to these bats, okay? My fault. I slipped. I slipped. I slipped. I slipped. Um, who, who was that? Tampa Bay? Nope. Because see, it's a Chicago and Tampa Bay game. I didn't add anybody for, to my pool. So I, we can... We, the San Francisco and Cleveland game is what I need to be looking at. And I didn't add anybody from my pool to my pool from neither one of those games. Uh, either so that's something okay so uh, I was on par with that I was on par so yeah I'm trying to uh, really keep this moving so I can get out of here all right St. Louis Cardinals at Milwaukee Brewers all right another game that I really 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 didn't you know what I'm saying uh I really didn't uh um really didn't have too much for it, man I mean uh eight and a half total in this one um Milwaukee the favorite in this one um if I just had to, you know, we got, we got, we got, we got McCullis on the mind, and then we got, uh, and then, uh, we got, uh, uh, Peralta on the mound. I just want to sit back on this one, man. I might have to live bet it. If I had to pick one, it'd probably be Milwaukee, and I'll just keep it moving, but I don't know, man. I, I'm just going to sit back on this one. Not a fan of neither one of the, uh, Milwaukee like that, but I guess, you know, I'll just tip my expectation and live bet. If I want to live bet, I just take a take my live bet a total or something like that. Never know. Uh, Detroit Tigers at Kansas City Royals here. Um, another game where I'm kind of undecided, but you know Keller's on the mound and uh, Scoobles on the mound, and you got an eight and a half total right here. Kansas City is the favorite. Uh, Kansas City is the favorite here, and uh, damn, you know what though? I'm sorry. Let me before I talk about the Kansas game. Let me talk, touch on these bats from uh, St. Louis. Okay, uh, you know I had uh, Paul, Paul Goldschmidt. He's 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 six for fourteen with four extra base hits and two home runs. Uh, Nolan Arenado is five for sixteen with three extra base hits and uh, three home runs. Okay, so those are two guys that does stand out to me. And then you got uh, Paul Dijon. He's uh, three for eleven with a bomb against him. Okay. So uh yeah, I had to I, I, I man, you know what I'm saying? I had to make sure I, I touched on those uh I touched on those bats right there, man. I almost forgot. Y'all don't let me forget. If y'all got any, you know, man, let me know. You know what I'm saying? On the other side of the ball with the Milwaukee side, Lorenzo Kane, he's six for nineteen with a bomb. Three extra base hits. Um 
Victor Carantini. He's five for twelve. With uh, he's five for twelve. And then you know you got uh, 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 Omar Navarez. He's two for um, five. So he's probably not one of the guys I really really wanted to go to, but he does have a small little uh, history against him. But yeah, the Detroit Tigers at Kansas City Royals, um, eight and a half over under. Uh, Kansas City Royals are the favorites. Um, like I said, uh, Keller, you know, he pitched okay in his first outing. Uh, he went six innings, uh, five Ks with no on runs. You know what I'm saying? You know, and uh, uh, who who's that? Uh, Scooble. Scooble didn't have a nice outing, man. You know, going up against those Chicago Cubs. Of course, he's a. I mean, Chicago. Uh, White Sox. Of course, he's a lefty, so you know what they do to lefties. So you know they touched him. They touched him up. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know he's still supposed to be able to hold your own. You know if you want to be one of these good pitchers in the league. Uh, I did want to lean towards uh, Kansas City in this one, but you know I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm undecided in this one here. Uh, I'm undecided. You guys got something? Let me know. As far as the bats here, um. Who we got? Kansas City, and this, this is Kansas City. Um, um, <clears throat> Salvador Perez is one of the guys I have my eye on today. He's a uh, five for thirteen uh, with uh, three home runs. Okay, four extra base hits against him, and then uh, Mondesi. He has uh, he's a, a three for nine with uh, two home runs, two extra base hits there, and they're going up against uh, Detroit. Okay, so yeah, Detroit. <clears throat> You got Eric House, he's um, two for five. And then you got uh, Javier Baez, two for five. House does have a bomb against him, though, okay? And then Miguel Cabrera, he doesn't have a bomb, but he is seven for 17. And you know Miguel uh, Cabrera's been around the league for, you know, a long time. Chicago Cubs at um, your, uh, 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 Colorado Rockies here. Uh, we got uh, Gomez. Um, Marquez on the mound and Strowman uh, over under 10. You you guys do know this is Coors Field. Any given day, you could just start smacking home runs out of the small park. All right. So uh, right off the back, uh, you know, Marquez is okay. You know, I had some doubts against, I mean, some doubts against the Dodgers when he played. When they played, he stepped out and, you know, pitched well. You know, he pitches well at home. All right. Um, so, you know, uh, that's something that really kind of sticks out to me, you know. Um, Slight lean towards the Dodge, I mean, towards the Rockies in this one at home, but, you know, it's nothing for me to write home about. Just a few thoughts here. That total can go over any given time, but, you know, uh, Marquez is a pretty decent pitcher here. Bats in this one here, um, um, not much stood out to me as far as the pitcher matchup right now. I mean, but uh, let me see. Um, let me see. No, 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 no. Let me see. I forget. Yeah. So Jonathan V, uh, you know, he 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 hits bet pretty well in this park. All right. He's five for seven, he's five for twelve against uh Marquez. You know, he's a uh, 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 two extra base hits here. Um, Jason Hayward, Hayward uh, doesn't have a bomb, but he's four for ten against him. And then uh, those are the, the few bats that stood out to me on on the Cubs side. You know what I'm saying? Um, Colorado. Uh, you just gonna it's got to Manny right now. It's gonna be have to be a, a wait and see approach. Don't have I don't have much of uh, much for the Colorado side, but you do got bats. They do have some bats over there, so don't get it twisted. Chris Bryant, you know they got some bats over there. Atlanta Braves at San Diego Padres here, and you know we got an eight and a half over under in this one. Uh, we got Wright on the mound, Gore on the mound. Uh, for the for for the Padres. Um. Padres are the favorites here, man, but, you know, both of these offenses, they've been up and down. I don't know what to expect from them. Um, I mean, you know, right? I mean, he, he did pop out there when this first time for, like, six Ks and six innings or something like that. I, I just don't know what to, you know. You know, one of these one one minute these teams are scoring low, just and that goes for both of them. And then you know they, they pop off for all these runs, so I don't know what to I don't know what to expect here, man. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I have a read on this one. Maybe maybe the under here. I don't know. Um, Houston Astros. Um, at um, do I got bet? Let me make sure I don't have any bats in this one for uh that I, that I that I wanted to target before I um yeah. Who is that? San Diego Padres. 
Yeah, not too much, man. Not too much. I mean, uh, on, outside of uh, Kyle Wright, you know, he's four for four against him with two bombs and two extra base hits. Other than that, you know, so that's somebody that does stick out right there. Uh, not, uh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not Kyle Wright, I'm sorry. Uh, Jorge Alfaro. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, give me that phone right there. I ain't finna answer this and she gonna call me right back. Hold on. No. Hello? Hello? Yeah, let me call you. Hold on, hold on. Let me call you right back. Let me call you right back. I'm calling right back. Tell me why. She's about to go into convulsions already. All right. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't have anything for that San Diego game, though, man. You guys have something, let me know. Um, 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 Houston Astros at Seattle Man Mariners here. Um, eight and a half over under in this one. Uh, Houston favorite. Uh, Houston are the favorites here, all right? Now, um, I mean, I don't know what to expect here. Uh, I mean, I could probably lean towards the over in this one. You know, um, Gonzalez. Uh, we got Gonzalez on the mound for Seattle. Odorizzi on the mound for Houston. You know, uh, you know, Gonzalez. His last start didn't look too well. I know he gave up like three bombs, man. So, um, and and Houston ain't no stranger to the bombs, man. You know what I'm saying? And then you know, on the other side, uh, Odorizzi. You know, he gave up six hits and I think in four innings. I'm I'm pretty much undecided in this one. I do lean towards the over this in this one though because I know you know if those Houston bats get started getting if Mark Gonzalez gave up three bombs, uh you know and those Houston Houston get into that bullpen you know it could be one you know so uh lean towards Houston in this one here bats uh the bats is uh on Houston side you got Jose Altuve uh he's ten for twenty four with uh three extra base hits and a and a, and a bomb. Michael Brantley, he's 9 for 21. Uh, Bregman is 9 for 26. Um, oh, man, my fault. I lost my spot. Bregman, right. Bregman is 9 for 20, nine for 26 with four extra base hits. Uh, so we got some uh, hits over here. Um, Alvarez is 4 for 10 with an extra base hit. Um, Kyle Tucker, he's... Um, uh, four for nine with two extra base hits and a home run, and then uh, yeah, uh, good run. You know he's four for eight. So keep an eye on the starting lineup. Uh, um, um, same game parlays is in play for this one here, at least for hits. You know what I'm saying? Get you a couple hits, uh, get you some plus money, and get out of there. Uh, on the Seattle side, I, I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't. Uh, it was only a few bats, but you know. Uh, it's, uh, Mitch Hanniger, he's five for twenty-one with two bombs and three extra base hits, and then you got uh, 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 um, then you got France uh, for four for eight against him, and then you got uh, Toro, he's two for eight with a bomb. All right, so those are a few bats right there. And then last but not least, uh, Cincinnati Reds at uh, Los Angeles Dodgers. I didn't look into this game too much. I got to go in there and try to figure out what bats that I like. I didn't really point out all the bats, if any. Uh, I think I had just scooped out one because I really wanted to get this video out. I think I had scooped out one or two bats from the Dodgers. Uh, Freddie Freeman, he's six for two, uh, 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 two for six, uh, a couple of extra base hits. But I still need to look a little bit more into this game. All right? Um, I mean, on the other side, I mean, Tommy Pham is one for three and uh, India is one for two. But, you know, nothing really standing out right now. Um we got Gutierrez on the mound and Goslin on the mound. Uh, you know, hey, Dodgers, they big favorites here. Uh, they bats can just go crazy at any given time. I got to lean towards the Dodgers in this one, but, you know, maybe I can – I don't know, man. I ain't going to start start being risky. I'll be risky in my, in my spare time, man. Peace out, guys. Peace.